welcome back again and today I'm working on this uh, 2010 Mazda 3 with a four cylinder 2.0 engine I've made a similar video um, about this issue before um, I think the last vehicle was either a Ford Focus or something like that but it's basically Mazda 4 is basically the same thing same 2.0 engine and same motor mount so what the customer is complaining about is a um, vibration on the steering wheel I don't know if the video, you can hear it. There it goes, you see the vibration right there? Put the camera there again. It's a real heavy vibration right there. Um, and basically just from experience, um, I know that on this particular vehicle, look, you can hear something vibrating on the dash. But um, what we're really, I mean, I'm thinking the dash has um, something loose in there. But also a major part of the problem is going to be that front motor mount by the timing chain. So we're going to go and replace that and that this noise or this vibration should go away. After we're done, I'll make a quick video, turn it on with a new motor mount and you guys should see the difference. So okay, so here we are in front of the vehicle. Like I said, that is a 2.0 engine that comes on the Ford. And basically our bad motor mount is gonna be that one right there so even though if you look at it it kind of looks like it's all nice and neat and you don't see any cracks or anything like that we're gonna go ahead and take it off and once it's outside I'll show you guys I can almost assure you that once I take it off you'll see it split in half or something like that uh, so we're gonna start off by taking off the water reservoir um, looks like it's just a clip right here on the side another clip right there I don't see any actual bolts so it looks like I'm just gonna pull it straight out and I'm gonna move it out of the way and then I'll tell you what um, size those nuts and bolts are before so here we move it is. It out. Move the reservoir out of the way. There's gonna be four 17 millimeter bolts. Um, two bolts and two uh, nuts actually. Um, but before that, here's my jack. I put a, a, a wooden thing right there. Maybe like you can put like a two by four or something so I can put it under the, under the engine. This is so I won't damage the engine. Um, just need to find a solid spot down there that way you can raise the engine up just a little bit just so you can hold it in place while we replace this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this under the engine, lift it up a little bit and I'll start taking this one off. Jack is on the bottom, held in place. Just lift it up maybe about an inch or so, not too much. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then I'll show you once it's out. All See right, if so I here's right. the mount. After you take that off, you just pull it straight out. And as you can see right here from the top, it looks perfectly fine. But if you actually pay attention to it, this thing is broken in half. You see that? And of course, you can't really see it when it's sitting there. It looked brand new when it was sitting there, but just from experience, this one's always go bad. And that's the kind of vibration that you get. And here's the new one. That's a part number if you guys need it. You got it from Mazda. But here it is, brand new, not broken. And that is going to take care of our vibration. So right now, I'm just gonna slide it back into place, put all the bolts back on, put everything back on. And then I'll show you guys a quick clip of inside the vehicle that way you guys can see the vibration being right, done. So here we go, you guys saw that motor mount was just split in half. Here we go, we're gonna turn it on to see if all that vibration is gone. I don't hear it anymore I don't feel it anymore and now I'm gonna put this here I'm sure you guys can see a little bit which is normal but it's nothing compared to how it used to be there's no more noise in the dashboard or anything like that I still think um, there's something loose in there just because um, I've encountered this vibration before, but it was it never translated to the actual dash itself. You will feel it on your steering wheel, you will feel it on the shifter, you will feel it in the car, but you will never get that rattling out of the um, dashboard. But there it is guys, I hope this video helps somebody out. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching.